In January 1994, NASA launched a spacecraft named Clementine to the moon. After about 2 months of lunar mapping, the spacecraft was supposed to head towards the asteroid Geographos. But things didn't go ahead as per the plan. One of the onboard processors accidentally caused a thruster to fire until it had used up all the fuel, leaving the spacecraft spinning at about 80 rpm with no spin control. Thus, the Geographos or asteroid part of the mission was abandoned. Now this situation could have been avoided. But the question is, how? What would you do if say your computer hangs due to some task or program? You'd usually press control or delete, open the task manager and kill the process causing the issue, right? Now, let's consider some embedded systems. Think of a weather probe installed in Antarctica or the spacecraft Clementine that we just mentioned some time ago. What would you do if these systems face a problem? We can clearly see that it won't be feasible to access these systems frequently as they are situated in some remote location. Let's consider a more relatable and everyday example of embedded systems. Um let's consider your car. Now your car has many controllers which are responsible for the efficient functioning of its engine. If say one of these goes berserk, then it would be best to recover it to a normal state as soon as possible as any delay can potentially result in an accident. In spite of rigorous testing, systems do encounter transient or temporary failures due to EMI or undiscovered bugs, infinite loop conditions, and so many other reasons. Considering all of this, one would need an automated mechanism that can monitor the state of the system and take an appropriate action in case of a failure. And that's where Watchdog comes in. A watchdog guards a property or a piece of land. Similarly, a watchdog timer keeps a watch on the controller. It monitors the execution of software on the controller. The microcontroller sends a signal to the watchdog timer within a time limit if everything is under control. This is also known as kicking or petting the dog. If the microcontroller fails to send across this signal then the watchdog barks because that's what dogs do when they get annoyed Technically speaking watchdog timer is essentially a countdown timer The job of the controller is to reset the timer before its overflow In case of some problem the controller wouldn't be able to reset the watchdog which will cause it to overflow and upon overflow which also indicates software or firmware failure the watchdog resets the controller and recovers the system from such unexpected software hangs now things like the choice of rollover period how many times the watchdog should be kicked and at what places in the code should it be reset all of these things depend entirely on the system under consideration systems can use an inbuilt watchdog timer or an external one External one is preferred for remote or frequently inaccessible as well as critical systems that need to be up and running as soon as possible. Also, you should keep the watchdog timers off during the development phase, that is when you are still in the process of writing your code or finalizing it. It is important to note that the watchdog timer isn't a replacement for a poorly designed system. System failures shouldn't occur due to a poor hardware or software design. Now before I wind up this video, let's have a look at yet another real world project. Pathfinder, a Mars rover, also had some problem with its software. However, due to the presence of watchdog timer, its system was getting reset on every occurrence of this problem. Frequent watchdog induced resets indicated that there was some problem with the code itself. Now obviously the bug in the software was detected and a new piece of code was uploaded to the spacecraft 40 million miles away from the planet earth the mission was actually successful but what we shouldn't forget is that it is the watchdog timer which made it possible to detect the problem in the first place so we can conclude that watchdogs are a crucial element of any embedded systems and they should be used correctly 
to make our systems more robust and reliable. If you want to know more about these projects, then you can check the links that I've added in the description below. Do let me know about your experience of using the Watchdog Timer in the comment section below. Feel free to share your insights and thoughts. And obviously, don't forget to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button. And with that said, I'll see you next time with some more amazing content. Until then, bye world!